So hey guys, I was just on YouTube and my video froze, so I'm going to flip my screen and keep going with my DIY project that I started. So this was a special request from Clarice in the group, and it's a little bit hard to tell what it is, but it's like a pendant with a star and some beads on it. So here's the starting of this, and then we're going to twist this around like this. So the idea is you want to do a nice long kind of piece that's twisted. If you have a better way to twist it, by all means, go ahead. I know some people in the group have done uh, twisted wires using a drill. You could definitely do that. Um, this one, I'm just trying to do it a little bit simply. And to you want to twist it as much as you can and then get a round form to pull it around and it just depends on how big you want uh, the pendant to be. I don't want it to be too too big but I don't want it to be too small either so you're going to put it around a round form and what the one in the picture that she had had sort of a double loop at the top so let's just go ahead and put like that and if you put the loop perpendicular you can hang your um, put your cord right through that loop and you won't need a jump ring so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up a little bit and then we can just take one end and twist it around okay we'll just twist one end around like that and we're going to clip it okay so we'll clip that and then the other end we're going to looks a little bit crooked but we can just kind of loosen it up a bit and see and then the other one if you do want like a double loop going on like I know Clarice the sample that you the picture that you gave me had sort of a double loop at the top so you can actually go ahead and do like another loop in, in fact you could like do a triple loop if you want however many loops you want at the top there and then just also wind it around okay so that's the idea I think the idea of this is to do a base that has the two wires twisted together okay so that's what we have here and then if you want to just fix it up a bit we can kind of like push it a little bit like that it's got a little bit bent there but I'm sure we can figure it out we can push it out a little bit and then these are our loops that are perpendicular so there we go so we've got and you want it as round as possible so if you need a um, peel bottle or something like that to uh, to make the form a little rounder you can do that now the idea behind this design was to do like a kind of a star and I'm using the 20 gauge wire but I'm really thinking that you could probably go with 18 if you want a little thicker a uh, little thicker star and so what we're going to do is just take a bunch of wires not uh, like five we'll take five and we'll make them all more or less the same size this is to do the star now I've never actually done a star this way usually what I do is just do it with one continuous piece of wire but let's just I'm just going to try to follow the pattern as much as I can and that's why I love it when you guys send me pictures of ideas for designs and stuff because sometimes I can work them out sometimes not so much I know a lot of you guys do the wire weaving I actually don't do a lot of wire weaving but I do uh, really enjoy just figuring out designs out of wire so I probably should have straightened these wires out first because that would have been much easier and if you want to straight in out wires, you can do it just uh, with a cloth. So Mary says, hi everyone, I think this is my first time watching from New Hampshire. Awesome, well, welcome Mary. We were on YouTube about five minutes ago and then YouTube has been freezing. I do not know why YouTube is doing that. Um, it's maybe my internet. I'm gonna to have to find out about that because it's a little frustrating. So now the idea is you want this to be, like you're gonna make kind of a star formation here. I'm just going to look at the photo again to be sure what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like, so if we do like, let's cut one of these. So Debbie says, hi, glad you're here. Awesome. So let's cut one of these and we're just going to do like a little loop at the edge. Okay, if we do a little loop, because it looks like that's how it's done. They've just got like little loops on the end. We could even use a thin, a smaller plier for that. So like that. And then 
the idea is you want, it's going to form a star, right? So we want, I'm just going to eyeball how it's going to go. It's going to go like that and like that about. So if we just, what we're going to want to do is make five pieces that are the same. Okay, so five separate pieces that look like that. So normally what I was thinking I would have done is to do a template with it. In fact, that would have been a better idea is actually to get the artistic wire template and put two pegs and just measure it out like that. But I think I'll just do it freehand now just because I've already got started on it. But for sure you can do this, you can do this with the template it would be a really good idea. So let's just go ahead and do five of these and then we're going to make it into a star and see how we can attach them together. You can close these loops or you can leave them open however you like them. And I think the idea is just to work out the design in a way that it makes sense. And uh, and like I said, usually I do I would do a star with a single piece of wire, but I thought this was interesting to do it with a bunch of pieces of wire. So the thing with the stars, these are all gonna have to be like the same same length and that's why I was thinking I should have done it with the with the template but if we can get it if we can get them more or less the same size just by doing them by eye that would be great so yeah let me know in the comments how many of you guys have been using the artistic jig I pretty well used it for the whole month of um, of August for my videos but in the month of September I'm gonna just uh, focus on making rings. That's going to be my new project for the month of uh, September. And so, yeah, I'll be doing uh, ring tutorials because I'm finding that people really enjoy the ring tutorials on YouTube, which is really cool. Uh, and they're pretty easy to make. You know, rings are easy to make and they're easy to sell. Like a lot of people like to buy rings. So if you are in a jewelry business and you would like to, you know, make some extra money, uh, sometimes selling rings is a good thing because they don't take long to make and uh, they're, uh, people really enjoy them and they make, uh, you know, they don't always make great gifts because you have to get the right size, but um, some of the rings that I do are adjustable, so that's good too. So look, we just have one more of these little ends to do, so we've got these and then we have to figure out how to attach them together because the idea of the star is it's going to look something let's figure it out if we can put it all together so if we go like this and like this sometimes we'll have to flatten them out a little bit okay like that and that and then I'm going to check my image again just to see what it looks like yeah it looks like these Trying to see if they're actually overlapping or not because the idea is you want to sort of imagine you're drawing a star and these are flipping all over the place but here we have to flatten it out a little bit more that's the trouble when they're not flat so if we go like that you know what I'm going to do rather than try to fiddle around with this I'm going to just go ahead and start winding them together I think that's going to be easier so now what we're going to do is get a thinner wire and I think we're going to have to do several different pieces. So we're going to hold these two ends together and twist it in a way like that these are twisted together. One, I'm just going to try it like this first. So if we do like that, a couple of little twists, but then I'm going to leave these wires because I'm going to add beads to it after. Clarice, you've really given me a challenge because uh, I'm kind of just winging this as I go. So we're going to see how it's going to look. So we have these two that are attached together. And let me just see how that is going to go. Okay, just give me a minute here. And then if this one goes about like that. Okay, we're going to go like that. Okay, it's going to be really tricky. How long are they, Heather? So the wire, uh, you mean the initial wires? I think it's going to depend on how big your circle is, but they look like what I've done so far is they're about an inch and a half. So let me just see, because like I said, I might have to adjust this design because I'm just really kind of playing around with it right now. 
and I might have to adjust the direction of the loop. So I have three together now, and I'm just cutting wires as I go. So we have those ones, and then we have, this is a really tricky design, and then we're gonna need another one. Okay. In fact, you know what? I'm going to start attaching it to the ring because otherwise it's going to be super hard to, to hold all of this. So what I'll do now is I'm going to attach one of them to the loop. Okay, so let's just take the loop and we're going to attach one of these here to the loop. Yeah, sometimes we take on these projects and they're much harder than they look. So now if we if we go ahead and put it on this loop so it's going to stick we're going to just tie it onto there so that way it's just going to at least have a little bit of stability so let's go ahead and the way they seem to have done it they've they've used a lot of wire so i don't think we're going to worry too much if we if we end up using a lot of wire so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just let that one go for now and i think i'm going to just wind it to the frame as i go now it looks like, I'm just trying to see, there's going to be another one going that way. Yeah, this should be okay. So let's get another wire. And then this one, we're going to put the next one. Okay. We might have to kind of adjust the position of it, but let's try it like this. So we're going to put this one here. And there might be an easier way to do this, but I think we're going to start it like this. And so we're going to attach these two ends together. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Clarice, you, you chose a very tricky one, but we're gonna do we're gonna do what we can. Okay, so we're gonna attach these ones together, and then as always, I might come up with an easier to, way to make it after. So these ones are attached here, okay, and then we're going to need another one. So it's just like drawing a star but now I'm not exactly sure the best way to do it. So if this one goes to here, I should have maybe not twisted this one. So you know what, I'm gonna actually untwist this one because I think it's just confusing me right now. So we're gonna untwist that one, okay. And then let's take that one away. So we've got, yeah, this ones, we wanna make sure they're attached here. So let's just go ahead and attach these ones, okay. And then this one, we're gonna bring over here, and this one will go probably more like this. So then this one, we're gonna go over here, and then we need another one. We'll bring it here, okay? So this one will go here. And I'm sure there's a much easier way to do this if we actually maybe didn't use all these separate pieces of wire, but for sure using the separate pieces of wire are very tricky. So we're gonna get this one around here and just wind it around a couple of times, okay? Around there and then bring it over to the side like that, okay? So we have a few that are connected and then this one is going to be, you know, probably the best thing would have been to do is to draw it out first, but we'll just see what we can do here. And then this one, see this one is gonna go here and then that one there. I'm thinking these might have, should have been a little bit longer, but we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, and then we'll cut another one. Okay, and then this one, here, let's just put that one here for now. And we're gonna open up this one a little bit. Okay, and bring that one back up. And let's see where this one is. Yeah, this one, I think we're gonna have to flip. Oh, it should be okay. So if we go like that and like that, if we crisscross them over, then it's these, I was just wondering if the loops were in the right position, but they seem okay if you crisscross them over. I think I should have made the pieces a little bit longer, but we're just gonna try it like this for now. And then I'll bring this one in here and just go around this a couple of times to hold them together. You know what I'm thinking now is, I'm wondering if it would have been better to do the loop after, but I think it helps to have them attached to the loop as we go. So let's try that. 
So we're going to just bring that around like that. And then we just have this last one to do. Now it looks a little crazy with all these, all these wire pieces all over the place, but we're going to pull them in a little bit after. Okay, and I don't expect any of you guys are going to want to make this, although maybe you will. Maybe you'll figure it out and do a better job than me, which would be great. So see, now we've got the star going here, which is pretty good. I don't know how actually balanced it is, and some of these wires maybe aren't long enough, but we're going to see what we can do. So if we bring this one over here, now what we want to do is just wind these two together. Okay, wind these two ends together just to keep hold them together. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but we'll just do this for now. And then this is going to, like it looks really pretty. It's just I'm not sure how symmetrical it's going to be, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring this one around here. And the other thing I could have done is just left the top of the of the loop a little bit loose so it would have a little bit of give to it but I think for now it's going to be okay. So these are all pretty well attached. So now the idea is you really want to have like the longest edge of the wire so you could wind some stones on there. So go ahead and clip the shorter end of each of the wires and make sure it's twisted around to the frame enough. So once you have it twisted around to the frame, you can just go ahead and clip whichever end of the wire is shorter because the other end you're going to use to add some stones. So let's go ahead, oops, this one pulled out a little bit. Okay, we're gonna twist that one. So yeah, go ahead and use one of the ends to secure these nicely in place which means like going through the loops a couple of times if you need. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can go ahead and clip. I probably should have maybe cut these wires a little bit uh, longer, but I think they're gonna be okay. So this too, you can just bring it in here and cl clip one end of each. So each, you're gonna have one long wire left at the top of each end of the star. So let me just go ahead and clip the shorter ends. Okay, we'll just clip the shorter ends there. Here's the longer end and this too. So here's, let's bring this one around. Okay, bring that one around. Just make sure my hands are staying in view. And then we're going to just finish this one and just pull it around. So let's see how it looks so far. So, wow, not too bad. <laughs> I can't even believe I got this far. So what we have, I don't know how well centered the star is, but that's the idea. So you have a five point star and you have these fancy little loops, which is really cool because in theory, you could just do a star with one piece of wire and then um, attach it to, to a frame, which would be super easy. But of course we had to make this more complicated we did these little these little uh, rings on there. So let me bring in the picture again to show you guys. And I'll show you what it looks like. I'll just get my, I have it digitally here. So here's the, the picture. And you see there's our, there are the loops, uh, how it looks. A star is born, yes, very cool, very cool. So, so you see this one, the top of the star is right centered, but of course I didn't do that. So it's a little off to the side. But I wonder if it's too late to push it around. Yeah, I could kind of push it around a little bit. So that might be a little bit better. Although it's not super easy to push it around because I pretty well fixed it in place. But that's definitely something you could do. You can um, stick it in there. And so now we want to add some beads. So what you would do for that, these beads are, some of them are a little big, so they might not work too well. But I'll start with some, I do have some small beads here. I have these little uh, rose quartz beads. So we can start with that. And I have a feeling this, the star, the picture that you sent me, uh, Clarice, is uh, smaller than this. But the idea is you would just go ahead and add the stones and then come around here. And they look like the stones go all the way to the middle. So you can go ahead and um, if you have some small stones, attach them. You could probably also put 
uh, seed beads or something in there if you wanted to as well. So yeah, this one I made probably made way too small because as you can see the stones aren't going to super fit in there. So I'll just put a couple stones as sort of a token just to get the idea of what it would look like. And it, it actually will take us a lot less time now because I can't fit many stones in there. But so, so there's some stones there. And let me see if I have some other thin one, little ones. Here's some little ones. These are um, these are some uh, garnets. Emily says, so pretty. Thank you so much. It's really uh, just a very big experiment because I did not know how I was going to do this, but it's uh, it's going to be cute, I think. So let's get a couple of the little garnet stones. And like I said, if you make this piece larger, you'll definitely be able to fit more stones in there. But because uh, I did not make it very big, uh, each piece of gold wire is maybe uh, like an inch and a quarter, like the the side of each of the of the um, the points of the star is about an inch and a quarter, which is not very big so we're gonna go ahead and then just put a few stones these stones can be really tricky too because sometimes the hole is really close to the edge and like here that's not the best one because I can tell right away it might break so that's the problem with these stones is because they're irregular shapes uh, they could definitely like snap if you if you take the ones that are have a hole too close to the side so that's a bit of a drag so let's put a couple more beads on there and like I said you could have probably cut the um, the wire a little longer just to be sure you have enough to work with so if your wire is too short sometimes it's helpful just to get the pliers to help them out a little bit so we're just going to bring that in here yeah last week I did the live stream from Toronto because Mimi and I were there uh, she had a meetup with her doll photography people at the um, Indigo in at Yorkdale in Toronto. So that was really fun. And then when we got back to the hotel, I did the live stream and uh, my battery died. So then I had to refilm it, which was just as, which was almost better because uh, the quality was better of that. So let me see what other stones I can find. I think uh, amethyst would be nice too, but these trouble is most of my stones are really big. Maybe I could do a few of the um, turquoise stones too, because turquoise is really nice. So here's some turquoise stones. I don't know if you could see the colors very well in the in the video, but let's try a couple of turquoise stones to see how they do. Turquoise with gold is really, really pretty. So we're going to do some turquoise stones. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to get that one on there. And then this Saturday, I'm not doing a regular video. I'm putting together a slideshow of a viewer's work. So this is going to be number uh, seven, I think, because you guys are always sending me such beautiful pictures of the pieces you make based on my tutorials, which is really, really cool. I mean, I, I've always loved teaching, and it's just so great to get feedback from people and to see what people are actually making. So... Keep sending me sending in your pictures of your work so I can add them to the slideshows, which is really fun. So here's that one there, and we're gonna do one more bead. This one's sort of a more of a greeny turquoise. So we're gonna do that, and then yeah, it's not perfect, but and see this wire is like really super short, so it's might not even I might not even manage to get that in there, but I'd like to have more than two uh, beads in there. So let's see if I can get that in to stay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So we're gonna just do that. Yeah, when the piece is so small, it's very, very tricky to get it to work properly. So we're gonna kind of push that one in there a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I should maybe do my live streams in the daylight because it's, it gets so dark so quickly now. And so here's this one. Yeah, it's not as nicely uh, positioned because the beads are a little bit too big for our purposes here. So we've got those. And then let's try to do some of the, uh, of the amethyst ones. Although these amethyst beads are really 
big, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try. So let's try to do a couple of the amethyst beads. And uh, yeah, I don't know if there's an easier way to do that star, but I'm thinking maybe what you could do is actually print out a print out a template of a star, like a five point star, and then just line up your wires on the template. That might be the easiest thing. Attach them all together, and then after attach it to the loop, and then that way you can make sure it's centered nicely on the loop and you can also make sure that um, the loop is the right size because sometimes you might have to adjust the loop to be a little bigger a little smaller now I'm not even going to try to put a third bead in here because I just see that these amethyst beads are very big so we're just going to go like that and then I just have to choose one more color for this side and I have one that's a little bit more of like Kind of an amber type bead so let's do this 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 isn't actual amber but it's very similar let me just see if i have actually you know what i have actual amber here so let me get that so here's some actual amber and it's these ones are quite small i'm not sure where i got them amber is beautiful to work with it's so lightweight and the color is so nice and uh, yeah it's uh, it's hard to believe it's uh, sap from a tree fossilized uh, resin so it's that's why it's so light I guess but it's uh, it's a beautiful beautiful um, semi-precious I don't know if you'd call it a stone I guess you'd call it a stone and um, yeah no it's really beautiful so we're just gonna go ahead and attach the amber beads here and I don't know how I think three is going to be fine so let me just finish this one off and then I think that will be it so, uh, like I said, this one definitely needs some work design-wise. I think the idea of drawing out a five-point star and doing something with that would be good. Uh, the other feedback for this is, um, yeah, put it on the loop after, and then that way you can adjust it to go inside uh, the loop a little better. And then, like, this tip should have been up there. So that's definitely something you could do. You could loosen these up and then kind of rotated it around to fix so it's not too bad so there you go guys there I can't believe we actually semi did it so let me bring the camera down to see it a little closer if I get the light but I will take a good picture wow lots of hearts thanks guys now it's really blurry trying to see it but I will oh there we go so I'm going to take a picture and put it in the um in the Facebook group and then let me flip the screen around. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's awesome. I'm going to, I'll download this video and put it on um, YouTube as well. And thanks Clarice so much for the great idea. I'll keep working on it. And, uh, and if you guys make one, definitely post a picture in the Facebook group. And we'll see you next time. I'll try next week again on YouTube. I'm not sure what's up that, uh, for that, but we'll, we'll try again next week. So bye everybody. Thanks so much for watching.